Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you can see there's two things going on here. We're looking at a case where we're looking at a three blade. Uh, this is actually an Electrolux lawnmower. And we'll look quickly at the flow domain by generating a couple of slices. And one of the things that was asked is well, how easy is it to go ahead and integrate, uh, say, at two stations through the volume uh, using a slice? And this is an unstructured mesh. What I'll do very quickly is we're going to create a slice as a separate domain now that we can use for computation. Those extracts are actually going to cut through the cells of the uh, unstructured mesh and uh, we're going to then see that they're they're very distinct. You can see those gray areas are distinct from the uh, colored slice which is actually just a, an object. Um, we're now going to perform a quick integration. The integration we're going to choose is uh, starting with mass flow rate. Number of types of integration but mass flow rate would be a good way to start. If this were unsteady we could also look at the time domain as an element but we'll go ahead and just select the slices of interest and uh, we'll go ahead and apply uh, the integrate and you can see this is the mass flow rate at the, the two slices that we've created. We may want to look at a scalar integration as well and we'll do that quickly. The scalar integral uh, say of mean pressure or pressure or mean pressure I guess it really doesn't matter too much and uh, we'll do the same integration you see it's quite quick. Last thing I'll show you is that once you have uh, some idea of what the, the pressures look like or in the mass flow rate, one can then use the vector field to generate some stream traces and do that very quickly just by selecting seed points uh, in the flow domain. And we'll grab some around the blade and uh, we'll also uh, grab some, say, uh, off the blade surface as well. So depending on the size of your mesh, uh, you may see more or less uh, movement. You know, sometimes if you have a high area of recirculation, the calculation will take a little time. Uh, once we have a series of stream traces, we may want to just animate those quickly. And to do that, we'll show timing. The timing in this case will represent the integration time step across the flow domain. So you know, bigger movement represents uh, faster moving flow. And we'll animate that just to uh, let our eye understand what those variances are in the flow domain. And you can see as that goes along here, uh, you can see kind of how the, the particles and or in this mass massless particles would move in the domain. And that's how you use TechBlot for integration. Thanks.